Hello everyone, Clay Ramage here, back again with another Goodwill Bins haul video. Um, went again today, found some great items for resale for our homeless backpack projects and some personal use stuff. So um, it's exciting and uh, welcome. If you're new to the channel, we do a lot of thrift hauls on this, uh, particularly from the Goodwill Bins this time of year, because uh, in Minnesota, not too many garage sales going on at the moment. Um, but yeah, we had a good time. There were a lot of, um, uh, fun, small items, um, and some surprises. Uh, so, uh, let's just get right into this. Couple things, um, I'm going to step away here for a second. Hop over here. All right. Get the far away things first. Found this. There's a number of Halloween items. One of them was this Boo Candle. The label's kind of destroyed on the bottom, so I can't really tell. It's a Russ um, candle, but those are always collectible. Sold a number of those over the years. Um, I also found this wooden T-square. This was very light, so it probably cost me a quarter. But back when I worked at uh, the art supply uh, store department, um, we used to sell a lot of these and uh, especially to the architecture and design students. So this one happens to be marked posts. It's an 18 inch, um, but it just brought back a lot of memories. And of course I can use it here. Um, so I picked that up more out of nostalgia than anything else. Um, and then I've been on a glasses cringe lately. Just happened to find some exciting glasses, stylish ones that everybody likes and even the celebrities wear at times. Ooh, but it tickles my nose. Um, so I found these. These are actually vintage. Uh, they're in great shape. They're marked Taiwan on the side. And uh, it's got real fur. <laughs> so, and they're child size. They're pretty small. But I thought they were great. Um, you know, and again, I down at the Pink Elephant, I sell a lot of glasses, sunglasses and novelty glasses. So anytime I see them, I pick them up. I sell them for usually around $4.99. You know, and again, these I probably pay a quarter for at the bins. So it's good, quick profit, you know, quick turnaround. So can't ask for more than that when it comes to resale. Uh, picked up a number of Legos today. They had a whole bag folded they tried to sell for $10.50, um, which that's a lot for that little amount. But I picked those up, and again, I put those in the lot and... Uh, Sell them all at once. I found a vintage coin um, collector, and this is made in Taiwan. The stamp is on the bottom. You can see the green felt has some good age to it, and it's kind of coming apart. And uh, so I'll clean it. It's really dirty, so I'll clean it up. But these sell for $15 to $20. I was surprised that they sell for that much, but it's a good sturdy metal. And then if you want, you can, you know, when you get your coins, you can slide the little sleeve up there and uh, package your coins. Well, there's just so much stuff I don't know quite to go. Okay, let's go with this one. It's probably the oldest item I found. Um, Kraft American Cheese Box. Processed cheese, American on the end with a big K. It says Kraft Phoenix Cheese Corp, Chicago, Illinois. Um, just a nice vintage box, good and solid, nothing wrong with it. Um, and you can tell it's got that nice aged patina to it too, so. That'll make a great item for the pink elephant as well. And just even for storing stuff in. So I found some copper cookie cutters. Um, but the unusual thing about these, these are very heavy. They are not your light, thin cookie cutter. So I almost wonder if they're more just designed for decoration than actual use. But... Um, so I got the two different size Christmas trees and the snowflake. Now the snowflake is a little thinner um, than the two Christmas trees. These are pretty heavy, heavy gauge metal. But um, yeah, so I picked them up. So if anybody's interested in copper cookie cutters, let me know. <laughs> um, I did pick up a number of things for the backpack that we do for the homeless. Uh, there was a brand new bar of soap. There is a brand new tooth brush. Now this particular one, it looks like a child size, but it doesn't matter. We put them in there. Uh, I found three pairs of socks, all brand new, a pair of Bombas. 
see them advertised all the time, and a pair of kitty socks. Um, and uh, they're really cute. So yeah, so that's some stuff for the backpacks that we got. We found these lovely little coasters um, in a bin. They're um, alcohol proof, made in Japan. It says hand painted, alcohol proof, made in Japan. So they're they're quite dirty, so they need to be cleaned up. But yeah. They're really nice. They're the, like the compressed paper ones. And um, the other thing I got was another pair of vintage glasses. These are a um, Elasta brand. Um, so probably 70s, 1970s. They're not, you know, old, old, but it's a nice vintage pair. Again, I put those down at the Pink Elephant. Also found a pair of Foster Grant sunglasses. These are not vintage. Those are pretty contemporary. But again, I pay almost nothing for them. And I sell some of those down at the Pink Elephant as well. So, speaking of the Pink Elephant, I bought, when I see paper bags like these, this is the giant lunch bags. I buy these and we use these down at the Pink Elephant for packaging. You know, because it's just a group of, uh, I think, like close to 40 different dealers in the shore. Um, so we all just kind of contribute, you know, stuff as we find it for, you know, like wrapping paper and stuff like that. Speaking of that, I also found this three-step riser, you know, spice rack kind of thing. These are always good for retail displays to help get your merchandise in layers so you can see all the way to the back. So I picked those up. I also picked up. A zipper repair kit and I also got another one um, so this is more of a heavy-duty one you know for like backpacks or camping gear stuff like that um, but you always have to repair zippers it seems like right so that's what we do picked up a vintage I I'm calling it a vintage iPod it's not vintage but an old iPod um, and I pay 99 cents for electronics. I paid 99 cents for that. And I paid 99 cents for this pair of Bose headphones. Good quality. Oh, those are for personal use. And then, um, but this I have, I'm collecting a number of these and I'm going to send them to somebody that I know who deals in those things. I typically don't because I don't have a way to test them. I don't know how to test them very well or anything like that. Collect them up, because again, I'm not paying much money for them. Um, I found a Precious Moments figurine. This particular one says it's a perfect boy. So it's like for a birth announcement. Um, the little doctor with his little doctor kit there. That was pretty cute. Again, I probably paid 60 cents for this. Um, these sell for, you know, 10 to $15. So good return on the money. Sold brand new for $18.50, it says on the box. This one have a date on it? 1991. So yeah. That was the year we got married. 29 years old. I found a little pewter statue. This one is of St. Michael. Honestly, I don't know why I picked it up, but I thought it might have some resale value. Um, found a vintage marble all by itself. Half used bottle of hand sanitizer. In my how-to videos, you'll see why I picked this up. Um, again, it's half used you probably wouldn't want to use it on your hands but i can use it for my other projects um then i found this vintage puzzle still in the box it's called the rectangular and square puzzle still has the instructions and there's the puzzle so somebody probably never even tried to use it got it as a gift stuck it in the drawer and it's been sitting in there ever since um but it was made in taiwan republic of china so and i can't remember exactly when that terminology was being used on stuff as opposed to just Taiwan. Um, there was a period of time where they made them use that uh, Republic of China. Um, this was an exciting find. Saw this box. It says Trousseau Sheets Pillowcases. Trousseau. I didn't know what that meant. So what do you do? You open the box, right? So I open the box and inside is this Wamzada Super Kale 
sheets and pillowcases, brand new, still sealed, never used, still got the label in the corner on the sizes. Torn size, it says 45 by 38 and a half, finish size, 22 and 3 eighths by 34 and 5 eighths. So, you know, that's the pillowcases and the sheets are in the back. Just amazing, still in the original box. Of course, somebody did write on the cover, but, oh, there it says right on the end too. Two rows hem stitched, style 210. Six, 45 by 38 and a half. So in this particular case, these were all just pillowcases, just realized. And even though the label says sheets and pillowcases, this is only pillowcases in here. That's why they all have the same sticker. But still, these things are, you know, these vintage one, brand new in the package, or brand new, still wrapped, um, go for really good money. So what are we at, 10 minutes, okay. Um, the other thing I found was this vintage box, roulette, it says. So I opened the box, see what was inside, and sure enough, we have the, have the bedding, um, plastic tray. We have the roulette wheel that spins. We have even have the little marble and we have the chips. So it was complete, which really surprised me. Um, exciting that it's all complete. And there's an even a vintage scorecard. <laughs> Somebody's original score is in there. Um, and then I couldn't find a date on it, but my eagle-eyed wife spotted it. It's right, oops, got to have the box in the right direction. Right down here in this tiny little print. Um, Roman numerals, 1961, which happens to be the year I was born. So, good find. Not a high dollar item, but just a fun vintage find. Um, I found this pants hanger. This is, it's called the Sewell. Um... Patented 1955. This is one of those. The hanger clasps. So, and because it was marked, there were several of them. Um, oh, I'm sorry. It's called the set well, not the sewell. Set well. There were several of them, but this this was the only one that was marked. So I picked it up, thinking it, you know, somebody would pay five six dollars for it at the down at the pink elephant. Um, I found this little sample thing too. I got this actually. It's that's Walgreens with a business card on it. Oops, I shouldn't have shown that. Um, but anyway, it's um, products for eczema, it says. And my wife suffers from that sometimes. So I picked it up for her. And then I found this little package. And I did take a while trying to figure out what was in this package. And it, it just wasn't clicking today. Then I read the name. It says Babalot, which is they are a tennis equipment manufacturer. My daughter plays tennis, and Babalot was her rackets. So I realized all of a sudden, oh yeah, this is the tennis grip for your racket to re-grip your racket, and we need to do that to our rackets. So figured that out finally. Found a paintbrush, one inch. Needs a little help. That's okay. Then I came across a lot of jewelry. So I'm going to go through this first story. Uh, I get to this one bin and I see this this piece of metal sitting. You know, it was kind of not too much stuff at the end. And so this was just sitting out. And I happened to notice right there. You can see. It says 925. So I quickly grabbed it, put it in my cart, and I noticed it has abalone along there. And then like 12 inches away was a matching bracelet. Again, marked 925 on it. And, you know, there'd been multiple people before me in this cart. So it wasn't even like I was the first one there. So many people passed these up. I'm sure they just thought it was a, you know, broken piece of metal without taking a look. So it always pays to take a little closer look at even... Oh, you know, random pieces of metal. Um, and I did find this piece bracelet. I <clears throat> found these two shells. Now I believe these are like belt buckles or, you know, clasps for, you would have 
straps going through those. But I just like the fact they're shells. They could easily be used for a craft project or something like that. Um, found a Timex watch and an extra watch band. There was another baggie full of jewelry, which most of this came from. So there's this necklace. It's act The clasp is actually broken on that. And there was a wooden beaded piece. This was by itself. It was not in the baggie. Just a little bracelet. Found this ring, which was also by itself. Um, and it's got the ring sizer inside already, too. But it's very large ring. And then I found this little panda ring. It's a child's ring. Um, found that loose in the bins too. But then the rest of this all came out of this one baggie. Um, this beautiful brooch. It's no, no markings on it. But it's just a very nice brooch. This gold toned necklace with a sunburst pattern charm on it. Pendant. Um, with little tiny stones in it. A pair of feather earrings. This looks like a handmade ring. It's wire, silver wire, I believe. And the two pearlized beads. There's a single bow tie necklace. Necklace, what am I saying? Earring. Just one. And this is this is gonna fund our retirement. This big old diamond and gold um no, I'm sorry. It's a big old glass ring. <laughs> but uh it's got a big chip on it too. But anyway, I just I grab any jewelry that I see. Because again, you never know what you're gonna find. There are these two pearl and gold earrings, faux pearl, faux gold. This little charm bracelet with the little pendant on it. Um, again, it's just inexpensive beads. This one, which was an elephant bracelet, it's got little elephants on it and different colored stones in each elephant. Let's see if I can't get this to focus any better. There we go. <clears throat> and then this one, it's my favorite. It's a fossil. They make watches and stuff like that and some jewelry. Fossil, um necklace as well but this is actually a harmonica so it's a necklace harmonica or a necklace pendant that somebody put on on the chain <laughs> i thought that was pretty fun and then the rest of this is all sterling silver um which was in this baggie so this is a sterling silver chain and pendant this is a sterling silver ring haven't tested the stones. They're clear stones. I'm assuming they are probably um, glass, but it's hard to tell. So, but it's marked sterling on the inside. So I will then uh, take a look. There's a pair of pearl earrings with a tiny diamond. I believe it's probably going to be a diamond. I have to test those. And see, here's another pair of sterling earrings with uh, opalescent type filling inside. And then there's um, a, two pair of dangle pearl, one black, one white. And they are marked sterling as well. So not a bad haul for a little uh, trip to the bins today. So uh, I was really surprised on the joy. I wasn't expecting to find this much sterling silver and again these two alone weigh a lot so the fact that they were just sitting there and it's actually a beautiful design so i'm gonna have to look it up and see if i can't find there's no uh, designer name on it so i have to see if it isn't some way for me to see if i can attribute it to some company or designer because again this was not an inexpensive set when it was new it's just the design of it is nice so anyway, so that's what we've got. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye.